Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Lin. Today we're hanging out in Okamoto, Hyogo. We're gonna go check out some of the plum blossoms. We're gonna try some delicious food and we're gonna go to a shrine on top of a mountain. But first things first, coffee. This is the Sakura blend, cherry blossom blend. I think maybe I can detect a little bit of the Sakura notes. I, I don't know, I may be talking out of my butt. Yeah, it, it smells a little floral. I can't really detect it. I'm not a big black coffee guy. Maybe right at the end, right at the end there. A little bit floral. You can't detect it. You can? It's like it has Sakura syrup. It's thicker, the coffee is actually thicker. So that's why I thought syrup. Okay, you, well, you take over the you vlog can't. then. Yeah. <laughs> This is the best coffee I have ever had in my entire time in Japan, I swear. We go out to cafes and I'm left almost in tears about how bad the coffee is. It's disgusting. I'm a big cheapo, right? I don't like to leave things behind. I've left coffee behind. That like hurts me. It hurts me here. That is absolutely delicious. I have to agree with Ali. This is the best coffee that I've had in Japan. The coffee really shines through. Milk, nice and smooth, not over frothed. This is a winner. Just walking up this massive hill, following all the people, going up to Biden Park, which is a lot of plum blossoms there. Hopefully they're in bloom. I'm actually not 100% sure about that. This is really weird. Someone's left some pipe cleaner just by the road here. I feel like these are the kinds of staircases that you see in anime all the time. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. So here we are, made it. Plum blossoms are almost at full bloom and there's plenty of people here. Saturday, beautiful afternoon. And it's quite warm as well. I'm just wearing too many layers. Spring is definitely here. This is amazing. This tree's got pink and white flowers on the same tree. This one even has them clustered right next to each other. Right, so I'm not a big fan of umeboshi, which is like the pickled plums, sour plums, but they got lots of ume snacks right now. Got to do a quick taste test. These are rice crackers. It's a bit of an aftertaste there. A little bit spicy as these types of rice crackers are. So you've got the spiciness, you've got a little bit of sourness and a fruity aftertaste right at the end. Yeah, these are good. I like them. Umeboshi chips. I like it. I don't like umeboshi, but umeboshi chips. And also the same thing goes for like prawn crackers. You know, I hate prawns, but I love prawn crackers. It's a mix of sour, salty, a little bit of fruitiness there. It's really yummy. It's really Moorish. That's what I like about it. Oh, someone wants to jump in. It tastes like cherry fruit loop. Okay. Although they're not cherries. This is a red style chicken ramen. What they do as well is they make it all foamy with a blender. Ooh, spicy. You've got quite a bit of spiciness. Obviously it's the red ramen. I like the frothiness. It adds extra creaminess to it. You can taste the chicken flavor in it. And you would have seen the flame grilled chicken that they did earlier. Also a unique selling point for this place. The chicken is so dark that it looks like steak. The char grill in it is really strong. The meat is delicious. Ramen, really deliciously cooked, really nicely al dente. This red ramen, quite the spicy kick to it. Ali tried some and how was it for you? I choked. <laughs> I am weak. So weak. So the garnishes they've got on top, uh, some spring onion and red onion, and they just work so well with it all, really freshens it all up. The white ramen, nice and creamy, salty, chicken flavor, so much umami coming through. Pleasantly surprised with this place. Ali thought the place looked a bit dingy and um, wasn't sure what to make of it really, but we needed to get some food and the food looked unique, so we wanted to give it a try. So 10 out of 10, would recommend. Ali, what are you doing? Rule 18. What's rule 18? Limber up. You should actually limber up as well. Oh, that's too much limbering up. Oh boy. You have to, you have to, you have to. Okay, let's go.
They've built all these structures here to help with landslides and slow it down, catch the mud as it comes down. Oh my god, this climb. Been at this for at least half an hour. We're pacing ourselves though. But look at the view. Wait till we get to the top. Made it. That's a heck of a hike. You've got this beautiful shrine up here. It's Hokura Shrine. And what's really interesting is they've got the 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac as statues in there. And then you've got Port Kobe out that way. It's really, really beautiful up here. There's also just the map down there pointing out all the landmarks that you can see out that way. This is one of the plum candies from Muji. Ali told me that they're sour. They are. You get quite a bit of that plum and fragrance coming through. There's a little bit of saltiness in there. It's, it's pretty much like a, a pickled sour plum. I don't mind that. Don't mind that one bit. They've also got some plum blossoms up on this mountain, so we're gonna go check them out. Well, this is the plum grove, but as you can see, we're a bit early. Because we're on a mountain, it's a bit colder up here, so they're gonna bloom later. So it's two weeks later and we're back, and unfortunately we're just a tad too late. This past weekend has had a lot of rain and it's been cold, so we didn't want to come out here. But it also means that it washed away quite a bit of the plum blossoms. It's still really nice up here, there's a lot of people out enjoying it. It's really cool, it's just a nice little hike up a little part of Mount Rocco. But the hike has made us hungry, we're going to check out a new place that opened just at the end of last month for some awesome looking pancakes. Here we are at Likon, which just opened last Sunday. Oh, by the way, Likon means unicorn in French. Creme brulee souffle pancakes. Oh my God, let's try this. That is luscious, light, airy, not too eggy. And then you've got whipped cream and regular cream, banana, that brulee on top, that caramelized sugar. Oh man. Excellent dessert. And that is a wrap on the Okamoto vlog. Let me know which part you enjoyed the most down below. Now that you've made it all the way to the end of the video, please let me know that you have by using the keyword ume, which means plum, down below in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to know as soon as I upload a new video. My name is Lin, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.